off to go with Jonathan. He's going to class. He has class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at night from like 6. It starts off at 6 and it sometimes it gets off early so he just goes. I'm going to go with him today. Hubby's just going to stay home with the kids. Um, Danielle has a game and then um, I'm going to go to the gym while he's in class because the gym and his school is basically like one block from each other. It saves us um, gas time and gas and money. <laughs> so we just travel together. So I'll do that. And this is me. This is what I look like to go to the gym. So I'm going to show you guys also what I have been drinking. This is what I drink when I'm sick. Ginger, if you guys don't know, if I if I have not shared it with you guys, I'm sure I have. Ginger and lemon and honey is the best cure, natural cure, when you don't feel good. Um, also, Filipino tradition or Filipino luck or Filipino folk's tale. I don't know what you call it. Ginger makes you have a very um, singer's voice, like a very beautiful singer's voice. So I never took ginger as a child and this is why my voice is the way it is. But um, let me just show you. Okay, so I have, okay, I have my, I, I was working on it and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna show my friends. I'm just gonna put it into the delicate because I'm just basically warming up the water. I'm gonna put it into um, my hydro flask because I am going to the gym, but I'm not gonna put it in hot because it will stay hot. Hydro flask, if you guys uh, are not aware of it or if you don't have it, if you wanna get one, get one. I recommend it, especially when you live in a climate to where it's always hot or it's always cold. It keeps your drink hot or it keeps your drink cold, however, uh, however you want to. Um, keep it but I'm going to add um, regular water to this so it's not so hot but I am brewing just a block of ginger I don't know if you call it a block I just peeled it and just put it in there because I we keep drinking the water and then I just refill it um, add more water but keep the ginger in there I added um, the Trader Joe's multi floral um, and clover honey but sometimes if it's just for me I do use the organic raw blue agave sweetener i do like this as well so yeah that's it see how it's nice and brewing this is the cuisinart um tea kettle i bought this gosh hmm, almost seven years ago eight years ago and it worked perfectly fine i think i got it for like roughly about 60 dollars over at macy's they still have it i don't know if it's like the same look but i know that they have a cuisinart see how it's warming up the tea it's really fast and easy to to use oh okay there i am all right i'm about to go into the gym um <clears throat> took me forever to find a parking space and i also stopped over at bath and body works um after jonathan um after jonathan went to the to his class jonathan drove to school and then i just take over with the car <clears throat> So that I could go to Bath and Body Works. And then I just picked up uh, some of their... I picked up some lotion for Danielle. Some of those like bring back my... Like like how Scentsy has bring back my bars. Well, um, Bath and Body Works has bring back my scents. So I got her the Sweet and Clementine Magnolia. And then the Pear Berry. I think that's like a nice subtle um, uh, teen smell for, for her. She's only 15 and a half. <clears throat> And um, also for the spring. And then I also picked up, um, I've, um, I wanted to try out the the warmers that they have. So they only have one warmer. I, I shared that on my Sensi, what I'm melting. Um, it's like a core warmer that we have for Sensi. And then they have some uh, wax melts. And I wanted to try out their wax melts that offer the, um, the lotions that I do use um, through them. So I wanted to just see how how well it performs and plus it was like 75% off so you can't beat it. Like a dollar per little um, one one cube. All right, I think I am on frame. Hubby. Hi. So we are going over to the base. Um, we need to buy some um, meat. So I stopped. You guys see me doing hauls of uh, Costco and Trader Joe's and those are my major um, like uh, everyday everyday pantry stuff and then um, you don't ever see me with like meat because I buy my meat over at the commissary and I stock up on like probably two months a month to two months at least a month two months worth and so that's like about over $200 worth of just nothing but meat uh, I was like what 
<laughs> yeah, so um, we have a freezer downstairs and um, and that's what I do. So the freezer downstairs is just nothing but um, but meat. So that's where I get my like pot roast, my chicken tenderloins, um, beef um, uh, short ribs if I if I see a good um, short ribs they're on sale. But <clears throat> these are one of my like favorite part of the city where we live. It's just the the downtown area, and then it's got like um, homes that are all different because these are like the um wait so downtown is usually like the downtown is usually like the where they establish the homes first like within the city right Maybe. i think so that just seems to be like the uh, from all the other cities that we've been because hubby's in the, um, the military so i like it i like how they're all unique uh, Pacific Northwest has a lot of uh, trees, so now it's winter time. Um, the 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 leaves or the leaves are gone, but during the summer, the spring and the summer, um, it's all blooming and it's all beautiful. Yeah, so that and right now I lost my lipstick that I bought over at the the Navy Exchange the last time we were there, and. Now I'm going without a lipstick because I, I, um, I went through my drawers and basically threw away. Um, that's what I like to do for the, like the beginning of the year, so then I know I can keep track. Beginning of the year is when I go through like the makeup drawer and throw away stuff that's been opened that I'm not using, and um and stuff and um because I don't like to keep them for too long and that's how um, I feel like you get like um, pimples because I have a one right there. But yeah, so we're that's what we're gonna do. All right, hubby is going to um, check the battery. We're also here to buy um, to buy Jonathan a, a battery for his car. So his battery died for his car, and he's been using my car, this car, uh, to go to school. And it's a beautiful day out. So I me, mean, the sun is actually out today. There's the Navy Exchange um, gas station. There's some mountains up there that we usually see. Actually, some snow caps, but there's no snow caps. But um, yeah, um, beautiful day. So I'm gonna go ahead and go um, inside the commissary, and then hubby's gonna go inside the exchange with little Danica. And um, kids are just doing um, laundry, cleaning up their rooms, and catching up on homework. So there's no TV right now. There's no video games it's just straight up work for them uh laundry cleaning up rooms showering taking care of themselves and all that stuff so i i force that upon the kids um, on on an everyday basis work first before I play all right friends um i'm gonna show you guys another uh, meal prep this is just gonna be probably about two two days two two days worth but it's going to be also including the kids except for danielle because danielle is allergic to um to anything that comes from the ocean so she can't have fish um, and stuff like that so this is just for hubby myself um the two little ones the two little girls and then jonathan so i'm still gonna cook the quinoa um and then i'm gonna have it just plain with the um the chicken the chicken broth that i make just like last time season it with just a little bit of uh, salt and pepper but i'm gonna have that underneath the container and then i'm gonna have a little bit of the fish and then this is just the spinach that i showed you guys on my trader joe's and costco haul this whole thing this wok was filled with a uh, with the fresh spinach then it just reduces to that that's just going to be on the side and then um they're just gonna have the fruits um and and the satsumo i love this this is my most favorite uh mandarin orange and it, they're pretty pricey for three of them i think i paid like nine dollars for it but that's it so i don't have to cook tomorrow and um it's just gonna be in container whatever that whenever the kids are hungry then they're just gonna get that and then for danielle i just have a separate uh, meal for her because she cannot have this but this one is just the salmon with um with fresh squeezed lemon juice and then i just added some uh pepper and then a little bit of the um himalayan um sea salt that i have and then i do like the the skin crispy so i add that i get mostly of the skin 
um, the kids don't care much for it, but I love the I love the charcoal skin. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that because I know you guys like the the meal prep that I do. All right, Danica and I were cleaning out my um my Scentsy bars because I I I bought a new storage for it, and she was helping me organize it um alphabetically. Right here, right here. Okay. I'm right here. Okay, I'll be right here. So now we're having um the Satsumu orange that we got over at the commissary. Like I said, um, it's it's yeah, pretty. Thank you. It's pretty pricey. These are pricey, but they're huge. So this is actually for the whole family for us to just munch on. We have like the munchies. It's ten thirty. Hubby and I are staying up late, and um, we're actually gonna watch a movie. Um, I think it was um home, home for the holidays or something like that. So Danica's gonna have a little snack as well. She played play doh. Uh, so she has a little fingernail. Um, she has Play-Doh in her fingernail. Okay, let's go. All right, so we just dropped off. We just stopped Danielle. She's going to a birthday party for one of her friends and then it's on a, a boat, like they're uh, like a cruise boat. In 0 0.1 miles, and turn here right. are the and then keep right. streets in <laughs> Seattle. This is why I can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're off-roading and the, the the hills, the streets are so hilly and steepy. I mean, can you just imagine if you drive a stick? So our, my first car, when I first got out of the army, my first car I ever bought was a stick shift. <laughs> and I drove in Seattle. <laughs> I drove in Seattle and it was like this. And literally, I like, because when you drive a stick and you go boom, Turn like you... Right. You back up a little bit. Keep right. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. You can tell that they haven't paved this road yet. Oh yeah, it looks like it's, it's bricks. Still, it's still bricks. Oh wow. The street, no wonder you were like moving like that. They're bricks. So when I used to live in this area, babe, a mm. long time ago, mm -hmm. it was bricks then. That was like almost 20 years ago. Oh wow. All right, so we were at Wajimaya and then I had to drop everything and Keep right. Put things away because the line was so long and then we had to go drop off Danielle at a certain time because they dock at um, four o'clock so we're gonna go back to um, Wajimaya but that's where Danielle's at one of those boats right there it's a party like a party cruise ship or party cruise boat um, one of her friend owns um, a couple of one of her friends parents owns a couple of the party boats and then they um they're doing that for their their son's birthday so she's pretty nervous but she's shy <laughs> she acts all shy but it's a beautiful almost sun yeah sunset because it's four um we're gonna go in towards um it's called marato it's a japanese little is it shoyan did it say shoyan so it's like a little japanese deli uh i'm hoping to find um miso ingredients there if they have it there then i don't need to go to wajimaya because Wajimaya was super packed. But, ooh, Seattle. I can't drive Seattle. Uh, I can't drive the streets. I can't drive the freeway. I would get like anxiously anxious. Um, so, we might want to try to go um, Cheesecake Factory. Because we were going to go last time that we were around the area, but we didn't have time. So Danielle is going to be gone for about three hours, four, five, yeah, three hours. So that gives us time to go do my Japanese um, veggies. I want to get some uh, veggies, some ramen, um, some fresh noodles, either fresh or frozen uh, noodles, and then some um, soybean paste and dashi, and then other stuff to put into my, um, I want to make my own uh, shoyo ramen or uh, yeah, show your ramen. So then it just calls for like a miso stock. So my friend Yoko uh, from the Halau is helping me how to make it. Um, she's Japanese. So she told me all the ingredients I needed to get. Yeah. Thank you for driving, baby. Oh, you're He's my Uber driver in downtown areas. I cannot do it. Alright, so this is more down south. This is in Georgetown, right? Yeah, this, this is Georgetown. Georgetown, Georgetown um, part of the downtown Seattle area. And, oh, that, that looks like fake grass. It is. It's a soccer oh, field. It's a soccer field. Oh. 
And um, this place is called Marato. Marato. I think this is also the place where there's um, the original Starbucks. The not the original Starbucks. The headquarters. Headquarters. It's close by here. Mm. Turn left mm. and then keep right. All right, we're in the car, so I just got like the basic um, ingredients. I didn't want to overbuy things that I may not use, but I just got a fresh noodle, and I just picked up this one. So um, it's I see that it's three package, it's four ninety nine, and then I got some um, fish cake. I've got some soybean paste. This one is the Hawaiian miso. And then I've got a firm tofu. This one is the uh, Bonito Soup Stock Handashi. So, got that. And then Japanese um, uh, chili pepper. So, got that one to flavor for a bit more flavor, spiciness to it. Okay, so now we are at downtown heart of Seattle area. We are going to where we usually go is uh, Pacific. Pacific place. Pacific place. So there's an underground parking underneath. And then it's basically like the central location of where we need to go as far as like shopping or restaurants. Um, so we always just tend to park there rather than looking for like street parking. And as you guys can see, it's very um, hectic driving. So I'm hubby. Hubby's an expert downtown Seattle driver. Because back in the days when he was younger, he used to come here all the time. This is where he would look for the ladies. I used to work <laughs> down here, thank you. Oh, he used to work down here. Hey, I tried to make it sound more like appealing for you. No. <laughs> he used to work here in downtown Seattle. Hi! I cannot drive. <laughs> oh, there's the thing right here. Mm. But the sun's setting, so... I wanted to show you guys like the buildings and the streets. Lots of um, downtown Seattle has lots and lots of restaurants. It's like every little corner, not even every little corner, every corner and then every other door that opens up seems to be like some sort of a restaurant. Really fun. So this is how we park in Seattle. It's like um, underground. So that was like the first level and Sunday has a special rate of $10 for 12 hours max. Yes baby, we're going to go there because usually one hour, zero to one hour is already $7 <clears throat> and uh, two hours is 10 so that's a pretty good deal to come on a Sunday and just park here and then do some sight, city sightseeing. Just super comfy today. I've got my leggings. I've got my black top. And then um, undershirt so I, I don't get too hot with a jacket. And then I've got my um, my brown purse. But the thing with my purse though is sometimes because of all these belts and and buckles. It just seems like it's heavy sometimes. So and then I always just put it on my, on my wrist. Um, like that. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Super comfy. When you're in Seattle, you gotta wear comfy shoes. I don't walk around with booties or high heels. Yep. And then every time we get out of the elevator, there's a um, trophy cupcakes, which is a very popular uh, cupcake. Oh, yes. I like how they have their green chairs. So this is Pacific Place. It's a mall. This is the only... Oh, no, there's another mall, too, that we always go to. We're at Cheesecake Factory. Yes, love. Yeah, it says Cheesecake Factory. I love their pumpernickel bread. I was telling hubby. So we ordered um, habanera for me and the girls to share, and then hubby got jambalaya. Danielle, like I said, went to a. Um, What's the letter D? A party, birthday party, and she's um. Is she is she by Bill Gates' house? They're like touring. They're in Lake Washington right now. Oh, Lake Washington. They're probably doing like a little tour. Yes, baby. Uh -huh. It's a letter K. An I. <laughs> I just got water and then um, this is so good. Warm bread. Mm. Yes, take a picture, she said, of her. That's her plate. We got um, carbonara with bacon and peas. Danica got 
bread and then hubby got a nice oh jambalaya all right we are done with dinner there's the space needle <laughs> hubby's like look what's in front of us why are you not filming space needle is right up there cool um, we had dinner over at Spaghetti Factory. Nope, not Spaghetti Factory. Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. We ended up taking two cheesecake homes to go um, for the kids to share. There was the Orion, Orion Oreo Extreme. Oreo Extreme. Orion. <laughs> we got the Orion Extreme. <laughs> Oreo Chocolate ex Extreme or something like that. And then um, Hubby and I um, got the, the mango key lime. But I think Danielle's going to have that. There's the pink Mango. elephant. Where's the pink elephant? What's a, pink, what's a pink elephant? Pink, pink elephant. Um, pink car elephant wash. car it's wash. Like a, it's like a landmark in Seattle. Mm -hmm. right, we are getting our oil change for Jonathan's car and my car. So <laughs> I'm teaching Dan. I'm taking Danica to school. Okay, so what is this, Danica? Apples. Apples. What is this one? Apples. Okay, apples too. All right. Let's see. What about this one? These are my favorite, Danica. What are these? Um, pineapple. Nope, these are mangoes. Mango. Close though. What is this one? Uh, you said it. Pineapple. Pineapple. Ooh, and look at these pretty papayas. These are papayas. Pineapple. Mommy loves these in the islands. Whoa. Sweet papayas. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, and this is mommy's favorite melon. Cantaloupe and honeydew. So Danica, whenever we go to the store, especially like um, Asian market, that's where I take her to the fish, fish section, and that's her aquarium <laughs> of all the different fish they have or sea creatures. And then over here, as I teach her how you know, like the different kind of apples, um, different bananas, and fruits. She loves to play kitchen, so she has these kind of, except for the papaya, but she does have a mango. She has a pineapple. Now, papayas are really, really good. So you can buy raw papayas, the ones that are still green. So this one's almost, yeah, I don't think this one will be able to do it, but green papayas, you can make um, papaya salad out of them. These ones are just actual fruits that you can just cut. All right, friends. So then, for um, for dinner and lunch tomorrow, basically showing you guys uh, what have um, what I have been making to feed uh, myself or hubby or anybody, any of the kids that would want some. So I made my own miso stock. Um, basically, this is just miso soup because it's just nice and plain. It's got the tofu in there. It's got green onion. It's got miso, and then um, which is the soybean paste, and then um, uh, dashi. Uh, stock and then I've got fish cake which hubby loves that's why I put that in there he likes these when we go to the ramen shop so that's my basic stock that's just or miso and I can just have this as is and as you guys can see as it sits um, then the miso paste uh, basically um, like pulls back pulls back in together I don't know if I'm explaining that right it's still hot see yeah, the steam and then Oh, there we go, focusing. And then what I did was just saute um, my veggies. This is peas, corn, carrots, and um, and just cabbage onto um, with my, my wok with a little bit of sesame oil. And um, put that aside and put this in this bowl because I'm going to refrigerate it. And then this is chicken tenderloins, which I sauteed with shallots, green onion, and then... Um, that condiment that I got from Trader Joe's haul like two hauls ago I believe just to add some flavoring to it and then I'm gonna boil some eggs so then it's basically like it's all set the stock is all set I'm gonna refrigerate this so if anybody wants some then they can heat up everything and then um, make um, make a meal out of it um, and such so easy peasy and then I have some I use Danica's bowl but I use um, I got some green onion and then I can sprinkle that um, on the top and then as far as like the noodles then the noodles can just be boiled and have the stock and then the noodles and then add these on top so that's how we're gonna do it idea? if that's a good idea for what 
Oh, to blow it? Yeah, that's our rice together. Okay. I also made Filipino nilaga, which is very simple. All I did was just saute um, some of the, bless you my love, chicken tenderloins with um, shallots and then um, ginger. And then I added um, uh, water and then, um, then I put in the bok choy. So it's a very simple broth. It's good for when someone's sick. Um, Danica, very picky, so she likes broth, anything broth. And then these are um, stuff that's going to be packed in the fridge. And then we're going to cook this tomorrow for our dinner because I won't be home. Then the kids can just um, warm it up easily in, into the pan, a small pan of whatever broth that they want. And then add in the veggies because basically they're all cooked. It's just warming it up. And then um, warm up their noodles separately.